Hi, this is Sarah Yates and I'm going to share my results from my real-time data analysis with you. My project was evaluating a child safety program at a local church um, where the children are checked into a secured area for the classes for Sunday school and also for children's church. And I started off by establishing the need by just doing a little bit of research and according to a Barna survey a third of the children's ministries that participated in the survey did not have a risk management plan and it is just a part of being a good shepherd to be sure that your sheep are cared for and so pastors really need to think about implementing a risk management plan um, a prevention program if they have not already done so risk management is a biblical responsibility and we need to take care of even the youngest worshipers in our um, congregations. So the place that I uh, conducted my research has about 80 children signed in on a typical Sunday morning and the system that they use is called KidCheck and KidCheck is actually a leased program and the church pays $45 a month per check-in station and since this uh, church has a larger number of children they actually have set up two check-in stations and so they pay $90 a month for this uh, check-in system and in researching it it's fair to say that it is well worth it because the protection of our children um, is so important and churches are at high risk for sexual abuse cases there are often predators at uh, local assemblies because you have a high number of children and it's a very trusting atmosphere and everyone is welcome and uh, no one wants to hurt anyone else's feelings but churches have to consider safety as a critical ministry area the particular program that i studied called kid check um, actually uses a scanner uh, parents have a little key tag that they can attach to their keychains and then they're scanned in with one of these little scanners that reminds me of the type that uh, were used back in the day at JC Penney's and children can be checked in using a barcoded tag or if you don't have your tags with you or if you've already put your keys up in your purse then you can give your phone number to a volunteer and be checked in that way and there is a small printer located at each check-in station that will print out a name tag for the child with any pertinent allergy information or medical information on the name tag and the parents also receive a printed ticket uh, kind of like a claim check so that you can come back and pick up your children at the end of service if you are a visitor and you do not have the little barcoded tag or your phone number is not already in the system, then there's a little bit of paperwork. You have to fill in a registration form and leave an emergency number and you, the volunteer will set up a temporary account for you and then you can go through the same kind of process to come and pick up your children at the end of service. The evaluation questions began with a central question what meaning do parents ascribe to the experience of using kid check I really wanted to know how parents felt about using kid check and what meaning they associated with it and that led to three questions is the check-in system effective in other words is it really keeping our children safe and what might be done to increase the efficiency of the check-in process and we want to be sure that our church has a welcoming atmosphere so it was very important for me as the researcher to know if there's anything that can be done to make this whole check-in process more friendly and welcoming the evaluation design was a decision accountability oriented evaluation approach because I wanted to be sure that the church board uh, felt comfortable with the decision that they had made to go with this particular uh, software for the kid check-in program. Qualitative data were collected through research researcher observation on a Sunday morning and also uh, an interview that lasted approximately 45 minutes and the observation um, 
during that hour about 40 children were checked in so there were quite a few opportunities to observe the process there and during the interview um, a lot of information and it would be qualitative information a lot of qualitative information was gleaned from the interview and the interview was recorded and transcribed and then verified um, with the researcher and the the interviewer um, after the transcription comparing the data from the observation and the interview helped establish reliability in this study and when it was time to analyze the information from the study a phenomenological method was used and if I could insert sound in this pictographic I wanted to put the Muppets in singing menomenomenon menomenomenon so if you can imagine that one of the ladies in cohort B told me that's how she learned to say phenomenological method um, I said it was a little bit ironic that I was including that in my study because I have so much trouble pronouncing it but anyway in uh, adhering to this method the researcher bracketed past experience and focused on the collected data and um, using multiple sources uh, then went through and found significant statements and those were organized or categorized into themes and from that um, a description was formed that described the meaning that parents associate to using the check-in system at this particular church and um, the significant statements resulted in these categories and it was a, a big part of the study to note the building of relationships and the people that paused to greet one another and to take time to build relationships at the kid check-in station and that was a huge part of the observation uh, process and often you would have families rushing in at the last moment and they did not have a lot of time to check in before Sunday school started or before the morning worship service started and I think that's very typical of families with young children rushing in and you know hurry up honey we got to get in there and check in the children be sure that they get dropped off and then get on to our own class so that was another theme that resonated um, in the data and um, a mom also noted that it seemed to be very organized to her the whole check-in process um, was organized um, she did feel like it was um, a safety feature and so that the church was taking an extra step um, in safety and she did mention that sometimes parents are having to wait in line um, just because of the volume of people checking in at a particular time in those few minutes just before church started uh, the interview brought in a lot of data regarding the participants prior experience in visiting the same church before there was a kid check program established and a lot of data from that was very helpful and useful in comparing before and after having a kid check system and possible improvements were also discussed and we'll talk about those when we get down to the recommendation section the conclusions um, to the research questions first of all the kid check process was effective um, the mom made the comment that she felt like her children were being accounted for and that it was much more secure to drop her children off using a kid check system um, she said it just felt safer to use the kid check system um, limited access to the secure hallway did increase the safety of the children um, parents of very young children of course are allowed into the secure zone to escort their children to the doors of their classrooms um, if you come as a visitor hopefully there is a volunteer available that can um, e escort the visitors through the secure zone to the nursery and to the classroom so that they can actually see where their children are going to be uh, having class but still it is considered limited access and that does increase the safety of the children and it is efficient the volunteers at the two safety stations efficiently check in 80 children in the 
approximate time of about an hour each Sunday morning. Um, and that includes nursery age, junior kids church, and regular kids church. So it does appear to be efficient. And um, if you do not have your tag and you just use the phone number, um, people are still able to be processed and moved through. One mom commented that it was very simple and very organized. And there were some suggestions for improvements to increase the efficiency. Um, and most of those result revolved around just making it a more um, or a faster process and so a mom suggested having a separate line for visiting families. So looking at the recommendations um, if we said regular check-in at one area and guest go to another line that would help the check-in process move a little bit faster and it would also be more welcoming that second um, volunteer could help the visiting people with their paperwork and also escort them to the class where their children would be. Um, one of the moms commented that if we had two visitors, one could be more versatile in assisting the kids to the new classrooms and comforting the parent. And I just thought that that was um, a sweet uh, suggestion because it shows that often it's the parent who needs comforting, not just the child. It's a very difficult thing to um, visit a new church when maybe you're new in the community and you were very involved at your previous church or very well known and, and really knew your way around. Sometimes it's just as difficult for the adult to visit a, a new church. Um, it was noted by the researcher that all of the church staff and volunteers did not have up-to-date photo badges for identification and so one recommendation would be to um, be sure that those badges are updated and also to keep a printed copy of the uh, check-in roster at each station that way if there was ever a power outage or an interruption in service it would be easier to track the children manually and the suggestion, of course, for having the visitors go to a separate podium um, and have an additional volunteer to escort them um, to the classes would make it more friendly and welcoming. And um, an informative flyer would be great to give parents at the check-in station. That flyer could educate the parents about the children's ministry safety procedures and give them information about how they can sign on to Kid Check on the internet and start their own account and upload photos for security purposes if they plan on becoming a regular attendee of this particular church. Um, future research would um, include a survey to get more parents' opinions and also a focus group made up of the children's ministry staff, volunteers, and parents to get even more qualitative data to analyze. But um, overall, the, the church was doing a fantastic job in maintaining a safe environment and had an effective software program to monitor the safety of the children. Thank you.